Hello viewers, in this video we are going to solve this question. S minus 5 root S minus is equal to 0. Um, be careful with this equation. We can form a quadratic equation from it. So let's get into it. If I have S minus 5 root S minus is equal to 0. This S, I can write it as root S square. Why am I doing that? Because I have root S here. Remember, I said I can form a quadratic equation from it. Minus 5 root S minus 6. The question is, why is S equal to root S? Look at it. Root S times root S is equal to root S square. And the square root of root s square is s so s can be written as root s square hmm? because root s square is root s times root s so if, if that is the case then equal to zero this is of course a quadratic equation and in solving that then use factorization method the first multiply the first term by the constant term that is root s square Multiplied by negative 6 is negative 6s uh, root s square rather. Negative 6 root s square. So I will look for two factors of negative 6 root s square that can add up to this middle term negative 5 root s. That should be negative 6 root s plus 1 root s. Plus negative 6 root s plus root s is negative 5 root s. Now that I know the factors, I will replace the middle term with the factor. So this equation now becomes root s square minus 6 root s plus root s minus 6 equal to 0. Using factorization, so I will group them two by two. We say a factor out the common factor. And the first one I have root s square minus six root s. Group them together plus I have root s minus six equal to zero. In the first bracket, root s is common, so that is the common factor. We'll bring it out into root x minus 6 plus in the second bracket 1 is common root x minus 6 equal to 0 and root x minus 6 is a common factor so we'll pick it as root s minus 6 then we'll group this and this together root s plus 1 equal to 0 See that root x minus 6 is equal to 0 or root s plus 1 is equal to 0. That means root x is equal to 6 or root s equal to negative 1. Or looking at this, we know that this cannot satisfy the equation. There's no way square root of x will be negative 1. Now we're standing, let's do some and confirm that. Now, how do you get the value of s from here? We need to square both sides to clear the square root sign. By square root s square. Whatever I do there, I'm going to do it here to c square or root s square equal to negative 1 square. Root s square will be x. So, S equal to 6 square is 36 or S equal to 1. Let's test the value and see which one satisfy the equation. The equation says X minus 5 root X minus 6 equal to 0. So the values of S are 36 and 1. Let me start with 1. Putting 1 here. Remember, I said that that cannot satisfy the equation. So when s is equal to 1, that will be 1 minus 5 root 1 minus 6. We are trying to check whether it will be equal to 0. We 
that it is equal to zero, that may satisfy the equation. If it does not, if it is not, that may does not satisfy the equation. I have one minus root one is one, the square root of one is one. One times five is five, then minus six. That will be one minus negative five, negative six is negative eleven. And one minus eleven is negative ten. You can see that this does not satisfy the equation. So s equal to one is an extraneous uh, solution. And let's check for s equal to thirty-six. When s equal to thirty-six, that will be what is the equation again? Root uh, s minus five root x minus six. So that will be thirty-six minus five root thirty-six minus six. Let's check whether we get zero. That will be thirty-six minus 5 square root of 36 is 6 and minus 6 which is 36 minus 5 times is 30 minus 6 which is 36 minus 30 minus th uh, minus 6 is minus 36 36 minus 36 is 0 that means this is the only solution for that equation that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I release a new video like this. Thank you.